We've learned that quiet isn't always peace, and the norms and notions of what just is isn't always just is. Thanks in part to that performance by Amanda Gorman at Joe Biden's presidential inauguration, spoken word poems are on fire right now. Hamilton poet Kay Boudlal joins us. Uh, she uses spoken word to raise awareness of systemic and anti-black racism within our own community. Good morning, Kay. Good morning, Annette, and how are you? Very well, very well. You must be enjoying so much I guess recognition of, of your art form um, because of Amanda, but I, I know it was very popular before then, but this is just, it's kind of reached a pinnacle now, hasn't it? Yes, it has, and I'm so happy about this. So when did you start using spoken word to get your message out? Actually, I've been uh, using spoken word poetry since, I, since childhood. It has always been an outlet. It has served me as an expression um, as self-expression, um, and I started using it um, even more because I'm I'm really motivated um, by social justice, and this is what drives and motivates my writings. Knowing that my art will contribute to or drive conversations on the much-needed action for broad and targeted areas of systemic racism, including the widespread impact of anti-black racism in our society and around the world is actually what keeps me writing and what keeps me going. Mm -hmm. Because you said that when you came to Canada, you, you appreciate so much about it, but then you see you've witnessed things um, and, and that's influenced your work. Yes, yes. Actually, um, when I immigrated and lived in Canada, it has had many impact, positive impacts on my life. However, um, I have um, experienced and also witnessed um, systemic racism and anti-black racism and the long lasting effects. So it is my hope um, that through my spoken word poetry that I will be able to raise awareness and continue this important conversation around this issue. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get you, I'm going to ask you now if you could do a bit of a recitation of some of your work for us right now. Okay. I feel the rain, I feel the rain on my head, mixing, mixing with my tears. Lost my brother, lost my brother last week. Pain, pain, the pain there, Lord, the pain, still reeling from inside of me. Try to shut my eyes tight, but I still see his casket. I still see his casket right in front of me. I still see the mourners as they reach to hold my mama up as she screams, as she screams, as she screams in agony. They say it was a case of mistaken identity. It was a night like this with rain drips, drips, opening his umbrella. Cops thought it was a weapon, suspect was 5'11", he was only 5'7", only common feature was the color of his skin. And that's a, a small piece of, of a poem. What's, that, what's the, the, uh, the name of that piece? It's called The Beginning in Shift. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and where are you able to share your works? Where can people go and hear you? Um, well, Annette, thank you for asking that. I've just started to create an Instagram and I'm actually going to be doing um, a YouTube so um, people can actually go onto YouTube and look at my links, but that's still in, um, I'm still developing that. And as soon as that's developed, I will, um, I will actually um, put that on my, my Instagram, which is uh, KRB underscore poet. Okay, and, and we'll get that link out then too. And I can imagine that you're inspiring uh, many young poets as, as well. So Kay, I, I'm so glad that you reached out to us so that we could hear your work and thank you for sharing it with us this morning. Thank that you. is Kay Boudlau. Thank you, Annette. Have a, nice Have a great day. Bye-bye.